my people, we are in beautiful British Columbia, Vancouver Folk Music Festival. Check it out, it's so amazing. Check it, check it, check it. I've got a story to tell. We're here with Brother Tito Deller. That's right. Yo, are you right showing everything? Such a classic. Thank you very much. I wow. appreciate that. I appreciate when did that. did you start into music? Is this something well, that you always wanted? Yeah, well, you know, I grew up in a, in a musical family. You know, my, I have three older sisters, and they all played instruments of varied sorts, pianos and guitars, and my mother sang in a church choir, and my father played the guitar and the harmonica, so it was a natural progression for me to pick it up and I see, I bring see, it to I where see. I'm taking it, for and sure. And you're from the Dominican? I'm born, and raised Domin I'm born and raised in New York for a generation, but my family's from the Dominican Republic, yes. Everybody in Dominican look um, as good as you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say yeah. I'd like to say yeah because when I go back home, they might give me a hard time. <laughs> and thank you, right on. Yeah. Wow. So how is it being in Vancouver? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, like this fantastic weather. I spent a lot of time in Mississippi playing blues, and uh, this time of the year in Mississippi, we're talking 90 degree, 90 plus degree humidity. So I'm, I'm cool, calm, and collected right now in this suit. I'm fine. Yeah, I love this Vancouver weather. Yeah, it's such yeah, a beautiful weather. It is, and plus, like you know, a beautiful international city where you see all sorts of people. So it's quite fantastic. It's a treat to the eyes and the ears and all the senses, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing. So what attracted you to folk music? Because everybody's mm. doing, you know? Yeah, yeah, more modern else, stuff. Yeah, know, well, the folk music, I mean, you know, when you're young, you listen to popular music and things like that. But if, if you have the opportunity to, like, continue to peel back the onion and see what's in the middle and in the heart, that's why I discovered folk music, you know? The very like essence of like rock and roll or modern music was the heart of it was in the blues and in folk music and, and when I discovered that I couldn't turn around I couldn't turn around and neglect it. I mean and, and that's been my calling since, you know, it's a it's a very sincere form of expression that it allows like everybody that avenue to express themselves and I just find it a wonderful thing. It's, it's a so beautiful deep, thing. Profound and so deep, you know, like yeah. you can feel it and it attracts oh, yeah. everyone. Most definitely, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. From the from the youngest to the to the youngest, uh -huh, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So the music that you write, mm -hmm. it feels kind of personal. Very personal, Are you yeah. About me? No. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Most <laughs> definitely. And I would and I would hope, you know, and that's the, also the beauty about folk music is that we're able to build those connections. Yeah. Right? The, the, it blurs a line between performer and spectator. So if you're telling a story, there's always someone you know that, that's going to relate to that and want to go in on it. You know Absolutely. what I mean? And I think that that's that's the beauty of this gift to be able to share that and also to receive as a performer that kind of an expression where it's like, hey, I dig where you're coming from, man, yeah. because I feel what you're saying. You know, yeah. that's a beautiful thing. It keeps yeah. me going. You know? Yeah. So did you ever go out with a, a crazy woman and then mm -hmm. she dumped you and then you had to make a song about it? Well. <laughs> You know, yeah, and if it were only that simple, yeah. the reality is, is it's, it's the subtle things in life that, that bring forth inspiration, uh -huh. and those subtle things, and just really wanting to, 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 to be able to find that, that, that release, that relief, you know, um, and, and that, that definitely brings forth the inspiration, and you know, as a person that has experienced life such as yourself, myself, the viewer, we all know that it's those subtle turns in life that are sometimes the hardest. You know, navigating a real big ship through something difficult, you know, like your life and, and the vessel in which you occupy, like, 
yeah, life, life has been like that and everybody's got their ups and downs, you know? Yeah. Um, so on many levels, for sure, the inspiration comes from that. Mm. And, and, and it proves that like when you go on the stage to sing a song, the sincerity of that life experience is something that cr comes through to the audience. Yeah, the audience you know? can feel it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to myself. Yeah. And, and I know that you all appreciate that I'm up there not lying absolutely, to myself, just the truth. Absolutely. Yeah. God is truth and truth is God. You know, oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love God is Gandhi. truth and truth is God. Gandhi. I love it. Right I on. love it. Right on. So what is more inspiring, love or heartbreak? Mm, both. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once, this, this wise woman told me once, I was trying to understand opposites, mm. you know, whether it was love or hate. And she said, you know, hate's not the opposite of love. Mm is much more complex than that. So on the same token, the inspiration comes on the full gamut. What, full what is gamut. your definition of love? My definition of love is acknowledgement and recognition and a common point in which you can build something and submit to each other. Wow. You know? Wow. I okay. believe so. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's a, that's a beautiful thing. Nice. To be able to find that partner, that person, or that, that situation, because we love many things, whether it's nature, an individual, you know, a, uh, an instrument, an inanimate object, but like be able to find that connection in which you're able to submit to it. The trumpet does not bend. The embaucher and the diaphragm bends to submit to the trumpet. And that's how you play the trumpet. Ooh, wow, <laughs> I just got yeah. some knowledge well, drop come on, me right come on, there. sister. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that is so beautiful. So do you have a dream that you want to accomplish? Where do you want to take this? I have, yeah, I have plenty of dreams. First and foremost, my dream with regards to music is just to be able to give back to the creator, you know, because it is a gift. And so I take care of my gift, I nurture it, and I present it in a respectful manner. You know, something that my Lord gave me. Further than that, what I would like to do is leave a record of it, you know, so that my time on earth will be recorded. And so that there will be something that I can, beyond my existence, because the life begins and it ends, but what we leave behind continues. That's my dream, to leave something behind. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> right on. Ah, that is so yeah, inspiring. Yeah, I appreciate you saying that. That is so inspiring. Right thank you. Thank Last you. question. Shoot. People who are looking at you mm. and they're dreaming of becoming, you mm. know, what would you give them as an advice on how to get there? First and foremost, I would say that they already are. Oh. They already are because each individual is special and to look at someone else and try and mold yourself to what you see that person doing, Maybe not the best thing, because then it becomes someone else. Mm -hmm. I believe that everybody has a vision and, and a talent to be able to do something that is sincere. You know, sincere and beautiful. Which is, what I do is I play blues with a feeling. You know? And that's sincere. For anyone that's interested in doing something like that, you know, you already got it in you. You already got it in you. You just got to look and dig deep inside of you. And also trust yourself. The most beautiful thing about an artist, a visual artist, is that the transition from becoming a student to an artist is being able to paint or draw the ugly. Ooh. And our perception of what is ugly, it's not true. That's reality. Mm. So to be able to do that and capture that and show that, you've transcended from student to artist. You see how orange I am today? I just found another person who's orange as well. Hello. Hey, How's it going? hey, orange team. What's up? What's oh. up? Hey, what, what's so? How come you didn't tell me about the hair? I we said we were gonna wear orange. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was my you bad. You didn't about the hair, man. Well, you know, you're looking great. I'm looking great. Yeah. You know, we're just doing orange our own way. Yeah. You totally. know, it's all our own what style. Made you choose orange today. Well, you know, I just feel really powerful in this outfit. Uh, channels my best energy, channels the winning energy. I'm selling raffle tickets, so you know I'm trying to get folks hyped yeah. to buy tickets. They can spot me from afar. Oh.
drove out here and this is without a doubt one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen from a stage. It's, it's so magical. right? It's so beautiful. Well, we grew up listening to roots rock music from a very young age. Um, a lot of roots American music, bluegrass, the blues, um, you know, jazz and, and Americana country, all of the, the, the source music of the South. So that's always been a big influence for us. Absolutely. Yeah. What is your dream? What do you want to accomplish? I think actually exactly what we're doing. Like yeah. just being able to connect with people, to come to all of these amazing places all over the world, and, um, and be able to just, you know, look people in the eye and both share that, that connection that only music really okay, provides. Yeah. I can look you in the eye as you say it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, what are you, what are you hoping to achieve with your music? To bring joy, mm -hmm. I think, and to remind people the power of creativity. That when you bother to to expend some creative energy in your life, it comes back and it pays tenfold. Live, live spontaneously. Be open to the moment. Be present in the moment. Absolutely. Make something new. So the kids who are watching you and they're dreaming to be like you, what would you tell them? Oh my gosh. Um, Practice. Yeah. Oh, they don't want I mean, to hear that. I know, but it's true. It's got to be an everyday thing, and oh, and really only get into it if you're very passionate about it, because it's it's definitely a hard way to make a living, and um, yeah. you better have that that drive in yourself to propel you forward. Yes, mm -hmm. you can't be anybody else pushing you. So you're true. Pushing yourself. Yeah. yeah. All right. Who is the big artist that is inspiring you? Or that keeps inspiring you? Or that guy you? We have a couple of shared ones, and, but one would be Skip James. Mm -hmm. He's just an incredible, soulful writer and guitar player and singer. So that he definitely comes to mind. But. For me, it's always Chris Whitley. I love Chris Whitley's music. A Houston guitarist. Just amazing songwriter, poet, musician, slide blues guitar player. Just the, the package deal. All right. Oh, man, thank you so much for talking of course. to us. I know you're so busy. But oh, keep shining, you're amazing. Thank you so I much. I loved it. I can't wait to see more. All right, we'll give it to you later. For sure. <laughs> Vancouver Folk Music Festival. It's about to go down. It's so beautiful. Look at Vancouver. Look at all this. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. We're about to have a great time, amazing time. Stay tuned, my people. This is my 17th year. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! You're the guy with the 17th year. Yeah, this year, yeah. Yes. Oh, amazing. Yes. Why? Why are you volunteering? I love the uh, area here, right by the ocean, and and this is one of my best places. This is my number one place to volunteer. I'm not from here. I'm from San Francisco, so I just come up with my group of friends, but. There's so many families. Yeah. And so many children playing yeah. in a safe space. Yeah. Check where we are, my people, by the ocean. It's so beautiful. And we're here for the Vancouver Folk Festival. Folk F O L K. What inspired you to be a musician? And then the type of music that you have selected to do, what is that? Hmm. What's inspired me? I feel like it truly is just like a calling. And um, I've, music has always been a really big part of my life. Like just even just my mom playing music and it being around me. And I think when I was younger, I realized that it can help you with like shift your moods. It can help you feel better. Like I used to always listen to music when I was going to sleep when I was young. And I think I just really realized like, oh, music is a big part of life. And then I just started singing more and playing with more people. And I was like, this is also connecting people which is something we really need and so I think it kind of became something like that like just it just started happening and I just started doing it because it felt good and then I was like oh and this is something I can do often and as a career and as a it's my passion so it's kind of like a cool thing that just happened <laughs> the song that you started with I forgive me I forgive mm, myself yeah w w you haven't even done anything <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that song is such medicine. I think it's like, 
I don't know, I can speak personally, but then also just to so many people I've talked to is like the shame and guilt sometimes we hold on to of like, I should have done this or I wish I didn't do that or we, we wish we said something or, you know, I find I have a lot of that where I feel like guilty for a lot of things, whether it's stuff I've done in this lifetime, whether it's ancestral passed down in my, who knows, but either way I feel it a lot. So I have to remind myself, like I forgive myself, I forgive others, like it's kind of just this like, I've been in this space of forgiveness a lot mm. lately of like, trying to heal old wounds and yes. things like that and it was actually a friend of mine who called me and was just really not feeling good and she was like she was saying all these things and I and I look at her I'm like you're an angel like how, what do you have to feel sorry or like what's what what are you holding on to you know and I felt that right away that I could I could really identify with it I was like I've, I'm there all the time yeah. like yeah you are a lovely person and you just need to like yeah. accept that things happen and you know yeah isn't it funny how like lovely people are the ones who actually have a hard time forgiving mm. themselves like if they do something bad just one thing it will be like what? forever in there you know and then bad people they're walking around yeah. like I, I don't need your forgiveness actually yeah. i'm gonna keep doing bad things and yeah. i don't need anything you know like what is that i you know i am not sure i'm not exactly sure what that is but i think for me it's like i having so much awareness and being such a sensitive person if i i never and growing up feeling hurt and different and all these things, I felt like I never wanted to make anyone ever feel the way that I felt. And so if I ever think, if I pick up on someone feeling something that's not good, I, I want to like, I don't want them to feel that. And so I think then I just hold on to all these things of like trying to, you know, but you can't control other people and how they're going to feel and what's yeah, going to yeah. hurt so them. Who are these people who hurt you so we could uh, put them on the death list? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, well, uh, what's the point? Oh, you're, you're, for, you're forgiving society. them? You're, we're not forgiving them. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, truly. It's like, it's so weird because sometimes I like hold on to the feeling, not even necessarily what it was or who it was. Like, I'm not necessarily holding like grudge. I don't know, it's such a, it's a really strange thing, energy, and how it just like stores in different places in your body, and I just feel it. So I need to sing it out and let it move. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. So what is your background? Like, where are you from, or your parents, mm -hmm. or, or like, uh, I don't know, are, are you black? Are you black and white? Yeah. Are, are you, what, what, what are you? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so yes, I'm black and white, and I grew up in Vancouver. My mom's from Ontario, my dad's from South Carolina, so all my dad's side's in South Carolina. Um, I grew up here with my mom, but going to visit my dad in South Carolina, so it's been this, yeah, this life of kind of two A different A little bit worlds. like Drake. You know how Drake said that his father was from the South? Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't even know and that. And his mom was in Toronto. Yeah, I guess a similar like, thing. So, so what's the best thing about having a mixed culture type of uh, situation? Hmm. I mean, the idea of being able to learn from more than just one culture and kind of be immersed in two different ones or, or many different ones, I feel like it's... It, I mean, I can only speak from my perspective. It's difficult not fitting in to anything ever, yeah. but it's also beautiful to be able to like move in different ways and to and to experience different things. And and being an outsider of the, a lot of times made me have to like really look and, and experience stuff and really like decide like this doesn't really fit well for me, but this does. So before we let you go, what is your dream? Oh my goodness, my dream, my dream for myself for yes, yeah yes, for yourself my dream is to just continue doing what i'm doing but on a scale a larger scale and i just want to keep like being in the community and bringing people together and and like i said earlier like healing those parts of me that are still holding me back a little bit so like so i can step up onto bigger stages and and meet more people more audiences connect with people and, and help us my goal is to like us to all heal together. Yes. You know, that's all I want. It's so it's such a beautiful goal. Yeah. And I think you're accomplishing it because your music is just so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Keep going. Thank you. Keep doing your thing, man. <laughs> thank you're killing you. it. Oh. Thank you. How's it going? I'm excellent. How are you? Nice. How is it covering such a festival? Great, fantastic. We just got here. Look at my car, yo. This is my ride right here. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, it's refusing to cooperate because it's, it's, it doesn't want to be on television. I don't know why it's not opening, but let's get in on the other side. <laughs> Oops, it is still not opening. It's like, gotta put in a card and get money.
Le soir que ma charmante Élise partit pour aller à confesse. All right, my people, we're here with the one and only Le Vent du Nord. <laughs> yeah. Allô, Louise. Allô, Louise. Alors, what is your name? My name is Olivier. I play the fiddle and I tap my feet in the band. I'm Réjean uh, and I do bass, accordion and uh, I sing. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. And you guys are from Quebec? Yes, from Quebec, directement de Montréal, or around Montreal. And uh, vraiment heureux d'être ici uh, au Folk Festival de Vancouver. Uh, uh, last time was like 14 years ago. Yes. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, ah, oh. Why did it take so long for you guys to come back? I think uh, there was uh, bad life. Huh? Yeah. Life is like that. We, we tour a lot. We're busy, busy, busy since uh, the beginning, since 17 years. And uh, I, I guess too, in the festival, there was a lot of uh, periods, uh, some uh, other programming director and some uh, changes in the festival too. Maybe some people we knew a bit less. And so it's life and we're, we're very glad to be back. Nice. Uh, so you hadn't like insulted somebody and they're like, <laughs> we're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> How is it? You're so popular in Canada, but particularly in Quebec. How is it when you go outside of Quebec and the, to the rest of the ca Canada? How do you see it? Uh, we we do travel more outside of Quebec than we play in Quebec. We maybe have, I would say, uh, 10% of the concerts in Quebec and all the rest is outside. Lots in the United States, lots in UK, France, uh, Scandinavian, Scandinavian countries. So we, we, we do travel in folk music festivals. Can you tell us where is the, your favorite place? Oh. <laughs> It's like saying your favorite child. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. I uh, know, man. Everywhere is um, it's a nice place. Everywhere there's something to to uh, to enjoy, to love. Every audience, every night mm. is different. Even in the same province or the same state, every night is a different audience. Depending on of their age, their the, their need, uh, what they w expect, what they want, if they r are very receptive or very listening or all in uh, physical, physically. So every show is different, and every city, every place, every countryside is is nice to visit. Folk music, uh, we know each other's other bands, other, you know, even from states, from Europe, and it's a, it's, it's a family, mm. you know. And, and, and Réjean and his brother André that now plays in, in Le Vent du Nord since almost two years, uh, but uh, Réjean and André were kind of very famous in Quebec, even they were like very young, you yeah. know, so they inspired Uh, in a way, a certain generation, uh, our generation, to say, okay, we're young, but we can do folk music and traditional music. So we, we know Réjean since 25 years, mm. not necessarily personally, but uh, by the music. And we finally met uh, probably around 20 years ago. Uh, he was playing with another band. And yeah. so it, it's. Saw him from another band. Uh, in fact, no, in no, fact, no, 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 he, no, no. He, we, he was a freelance, he was a, oh, yeah, a free was agent, a, like free, a, yeah, <laughs> I was free, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, the crowds that comes to see Le Vent du Nord, they come to have an experience, they come to see something different, something that represents a certain part of the world, uh, a unique culture, uh, lively culture too and um, they're there to accept it and to, to enjoy and to, to be amazed by the way we play the fiddle, a bit rough, the way we tap the feet, we do the call and response songs, play the jahar, the accordion, it's a very unique style, uh, the hurdy-gurdy, it's a very uh, old French instrument that we integrate in our uh, Quebec music. Mm -hmm. So the crowd even, they don't Uh, necessarily understand the lyrics they uh, they and we build a show for a non francophone audience too you know we explain a bit we 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 uh, make humor too it's it's funny and it's energetic 
And, uh, but there's a lot of people that start to be interested in French language and learn French after and read the lyrics and the covers of the CDs that we, we, we like to put the, the, the lyrics because we know people are interested to read. And so there's people who are more and more interested just because they come to see the show. Last question. What do you want to do when you grow up? <laughs> I think we will still play music. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we hope that in 17 more years from now we will still do it and have so much fun doing it together because out of the musical notes or chords or you know between each other we're having fun, we're uh, friends and uh, we want to bring our culture and what we all think and our vision of the th of the mu of our music bring it to people and express ourselves so oh, yeah merci merci <laughs> j'ai tellement hâte à votre concert oui. ce soir uh, all right my people we're going home so much fun but you know we gotta go home we gotta go home everybody's gonna be here the whole weekend a few days Yo, it's been so much fun. Vancouver Folk Music Festival, thank you so much, yo.